endure the misery of our experiences, we have learned to respect people who struggle on for their vision of who they want to be. Those of us here come from over 40 different countries. We speak a multitude of different languages, some I didn't even know existed. Our worlds are embellished by the photos, stories, music, and food that we exchange with one another. All of us here reap the benefits of living in such an inclusive and knowledgeable community, especially as SOAS students. However, we often forget that the events we study in our program have been and still are the agonizing realities of lives all over the world. Like my family, some people are given no option but to flee for their, from their homes. Some don't make it and never reach the opportunity to unleash their full potential. Even as I speak, families are setting out to sea in flimsy, plastic rafts, desperate to start a new chapter for themselves. Families are being ripped apart, and with the recent demolition of the jungle refugee camp in Calais, France, over 8,000 refugees have been haphazardly relocated, with left with little aid to survive. Families are existing in deplorable conditions, breathing in toxins from a molding shelter, sleeping in city streets, and worrying whether or not their children will become ill. <coughs> refugees from Syria, Afghanistan, Somalia, Myanmar, Iraq, Kurdistan, and many other countries arrive clutching few possessions, and some of the most precious amongst them are the photos of their loved ones and of their past lives, just like the photograph of my father. Other photographs convey bigger messages. The photo of Alan Kurdi lying face down on the beach of Turkey shook the globe. It burnt into our consciousness, shattered our hearts, and suddenly we woke up. We live in times of incredible advancements, but also times full of sorrow. The photographs we press against our hearts capture with our phones, and see plastered all over the internet are talismans, and in them people find strength, comfort, and knowledge. The photo of my father and the image of Alain Kurdi are worlds apart, but both hold and transmit stories that bring textbook statements to reality. It is our duty as students in this program and as future diplomats to learn how to navigate this new world. As we study, as we work, we must not forget that it is our responsibility to keep pushing for a more humane global community, not just for us, but for our children and our children's children. Over the past few months, while studying at SOAS, I have realized that the face of diplomacy has changed. And the events in the recent times show how important it is not to lose sight of a fairer world. I once thought that mastering the art of saying nothing, even when speaking, was what diplomacy was all about. When I look at my father's photograph, I remember now that what we do is far more important than what we say. Thank you.